All right, Harry, firstly, should you have been credited with that goal tonight? Yes, absolutely, 100%. If you look at the replay, it clearly came off my chest and went in. Um, I've, I said at the time I felt a little bit sorry for Juki because I actually tried to get the way of it, but he's hit me and it's went in, so I'm taking it all day long. Is Juki trying to climb it back? Yeah, yeah, he is. He, he was on to me straight after the goal. I think you can see in his face how disappointed he was, but yeah, I'm not giving him that, not, not for anything. That's eight goals in 19 caps now. It's a, a record that a striker would be proud of. Uh, you can... Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's amazing, obviously. You never go into a game thinking that you're going to score. It's all about kind of, as a centre-half, defending and clean sheets. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a weird one, obviously. I've not really got a lot of goals for club, club man football, but yeah, I seem to just keep, keep getting on the score sheet for Australia. Um, and yeah, it just means the world. I'm just I'm so, so happy. Tell us about uh, playing alongside Alessandro Cercati tonight in his first game. Uh, how did you find that? Yeah, amazing. Um, I thought he was great. You know, only his birthday the other day, coming in and making his debut against a Premier League striker like Chris Wood, um, who's a really tricky customer to play against. You know, he's big and strong, but his movement's really good. He can hold the ball up well. Um, so for you know, a young lad to come in and, and make his debut in, against a striker like that, and, and he's done fantastically well. Um, Defensively, but on the ball, you know, breaking lines, not not being afraid to step out. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a great debut for himself, and yeah, only 20 years old. Hopefully, a bright future for him as well. A bright future for the Socceroos because uh, you're playing some really attractive football. Do you feel like things are, are coming together nicely now? Yeah, um, obviously, I think we've had this kind of little tag about being a, and to be fair, I've said it before as well about kind of being an off-the-ball team and a pressing team and a working hard, but. I think you've seen tonight and over the last couple of games we've got real quality as well. Um, I think we showed that you know a lot tonight, maybe more than we did the other night, um, and capitalised on, on our chances. You know we still could you know have, have had more with some great football through the lines, but I'm sure that will come and it will, it will be there for November for the qualifiers. Certainly. Looking forward to Melbourne now. That's when the real uh, qualification campaign starts. Uh, how do you prepare for that now? Yes, yeah, you know obviously good coming off the back of all these friendlies, if you, you could call them that. Um, with a win, um, and yeah, it, it stands us in good stead for, for the tough games coming up. It's, it's never easy, no matter what game you play against, no matter what nation you play against, away from home, home, you've always got to get the job done. Um, and yeah, we've done that tonight and we look forward to November. Fancy yourself uh, adding to your tally against Bangladesh? Uh, I'll take the clean sheet and a win first, but if I can get on the score sheet again, it'd be nice, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Nice one, cheers.